Yeah, um, well, it's something I've been talking about for a few years um, with a friend of mine, um, Malcolm Stitt, and um, I, and I, th- I think actually what the other man's quite good at doing and has been for many years is um, is uh, coming together at Christmas and putting on some music in um, church halls or um, in homes and, and things like that. Um, it's just part of, I think, the, the culture that I've, I was brought up with. So... And what I want to try and do is put that on a stage. Um, so the idea is on the 7th of December, um, we open the gaiety, uh, we get um, a brass band in there, um, a choir, um, the likes of um, Gareth uh, Moore, um, perhaps the Michael Players, um, and, and something like the Manx Voices. And uh, it, it's it's coming together, um, but um, we perform, we're going to perform some Manx Christmas tunes and also some some in Gaelic as well, but it's not it's not strictly Manx. Um, but good. yeah, and uh, and just stage it, and ha- basically just have a good a good laugh, you know. Um, at, at the beginning of the festive season, um, and hopefully compared by the wonderful Doc Tilbury. Ah, yeah, that the, sounds good. The that. singing philatelist. Yeah. You, have to, you have to get Dot in. Uh, either that or Jeff, of course. From the, well, that's, uh, yeah, you know, if Jeff turns up, he's more than welcome as well. So, <laughs> if you're listening, Jeff. That's oh, a Jeff powerful double act, isn't it? Dot and they, Jeff oh, together. definitely. Oh, yeah, yeah. God, dear, they can hold a stage, I'm telling you. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> stage left and right. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing stuff with Small Bear Records. I am, right? yes, yeah. So, tell me about Small Bear Records. It's a thing that Phil Reynolds started a good few years ago. I think he started about six or seven years ago now basically he wanted a label he was making a record and he wanted a label to promote his own record and it's gone down the line where people at word spread and he's kind of all these different people have got in touch people from kind of sweden and america and all wow. kinds of places and he's their kind of their label manager if you will so he promotes the record and he does all the necessary so he's up to about 75 releases i think okay. and it's brilliant fun it's all based in douglas and it's wow. all kind of phil and marie and mikey uh, the the team that do all this work and Kieran as well, so mm-hmm. it's fun. Like it's lovely to be involved. I from nothing. Phil a few years ago put an advert on Facebook or a request on Facebook saying, "Does anybody play the mandolin? Because I could do with a bit of mandolin on." So I I knew Phil from a long time ago, but I hadn't seen him for a few years. Mm-hmm. So then I went to see him and we were just chatting. And you go up into the studio, the big control room with the changing color lights, yeah. and it's amazing fun up there. So I just wanted to go up as much as possible, and I kind of had a word to him about going in to record some of my songs and uh, we did that that was the first album that i did and he's been on board ever since with my stuff really he D- genuinely likes it he says so it's lovely to hear and uh he's kind of open invitation to come back and record anytime you mentioned social media there the way that people consume their music these days is vastly different to what it was when i was uh, in my teenage years you know you don't have well first of all you hardly ever see a record shop these days which i think is an absolute it's a terrible shame absolutely uh, mm-hmm. you know the independent shops most of those went by the uh, went by the wayside and then uh, you know the our prices of this world they're not in Douglas anymore and we had shocks and uh, yeah shocks was different. great wasn't it? <laughs> it's awesome um, so yeah, people are downloading stuff off social media a lot mm. now and people are releasing well I, I suppose one of the first ones to start doing that was Simply Red I think Mick Huckland used to put right. all his albums out online I see oh, yeah um, and uh, it, it, that's he was one of the first to embrace that kind of 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 um, interest in his music i think but everybody's doing it now they are yes indeed yeah you can go on Bandcamp, as it's called it's a website for all bands to just release all their things live so I'll use it yeah I've you seen can it. yeah and lots of things soundcloud as well more of a kind of it's not exactly a sketchpad soundcloud you can just put new ideas up there and just send the link straight to facebook to people and uh, then you get people's opinions straight away so after half an hour i've recorded this thing put it on the net and say oh you do what do you think to these lyrics do they need changing or and it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. I wonder if anybody's actually thought of, of starting up a Facebook band. This is true, you know, yeah. Yeah, where you'd get people from all over the place contributing different... To one track or one album. Yeah, keys recorded in... What a genius idea yeah, that's that a great is. Idea. Absolutely. That is a genius idea. Absolutely. I'm going to copyright that. It's too late now. No, Somebody well, else has already it. done it. Yeah, so I've written it down. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, do you know, I can see that. That would work. Absolutely. Bring everybody together with you know, from different parts of the world and just... The power, the power of the internet these days, it's so fast. Yeah, you can it is. literally play a tune in real time with people in America and things. It's We've got a Manx Music chart on Spotify, by the way. Yes. Uh, yes uh, which Aaron Clegg set up that. earlier this year. Yeah, so if you want to go and check out some great Manx Music and you've got a Spotify account, or even if you haven't, uh, get one. And uh, just look up Manx Music Chart. It's fab. Now, you've been uh, working on the uh, finished version of the Manx Radio Jingle. 
Oh, yes. How are you getting on with that? It's what pretty. I think it, right? it might be good to go. It might. Uh, it might fall apart in the middle, but uh, you, you never know. But uh, we'll give it a go, certainly. Okay, just, well, hang on. Just... We did ask Tim Glover to appear as a, a guest musician on Triangle, but unfortunately he's turned us down. Uh, ben Hartley, uh, unfortunately, doesn't have his Triangle with him either. Uh, so I was looking for a little bit of uh, percussion of some sort, but but we're gonna uh, we're gonna run with it. So we've got Matt and and David, and we'll see where we go with this. And uh, well, the rest is up to you. Okay, two, three, four. <laughs> Thanks radio Thanks radio Thanks radio Radio, Max Radio, Max Radio.